Hello everyone, we're back. Uh, no, I need to figure out where I left off exactly. Oh god, Rex. I think you just had to die in this scene, but that's tragic. I loved you. You were one of my favorite characters. I'm ready to go when you are, Commander. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I'd rather have Rex on our side, but he chose his path. I hope these Solarians can fight. Ready when you are, Commander. Uh, soldier. Where is Captain? I think it's you I need to talk to, right? Sorry, the Krogan couldn't be reasoned with. Shall I arrange for a council sponsored service? Or should we dump his body in the swamps? We couldn't have gotten this far without him. We owe him a decent burial. You have a strange code of honor, Commander Shepard. But I will see the arrangements are made, assuming we survive the assault on Saren's base. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Sounds difficult. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <sighs> you expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk... I know who I'm giving to you. By your side. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With Agreed. All respect, Gunnery Chief. It's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Uh, Ashley. William, you'll accompany the captain. Yes. No I hope you die. Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, <sighs> I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you, all of you. You've only don't come worry. on. We'll see you on the other side. I haven't even brought you on any other missions. I, I never know. will again. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. I hope you die out there. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay from hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped Arachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. 
I hope we will meet again. Ah, I don't like you, but you're okay. You're you. You are useless. I hate you. I'm never bringing you on another mission ever again. Yeah. I don't like either of the human allies. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Miss. Jesus. Hit him once. He put up a shield. Two shots takes down a shield, and three. Sh fourth shot actually kills him. Pop up from cover. There you go. You're down. Check for long range turrets helping the guest target. All right. I don't see anyone right now. Uh, Garrus. Yeah. It's a shit. All right. What way do we have to go? Let's go into this communications tower and see if we need to do anything in here. Probably. I know, that's what I'm doing. Except I don't know if it was worth my damn time. Dead. Weapons locker. Manual override. Go, 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 go. Made it. Take all. Communications disrupted. Alright, I need to check equipment and see if I got anything better. Take all. Well, medium armor five. Pretty much better in any way, every way, other than attack and biotic protection. The shields are better. Ooh, gold. Okay, what about you? All right. Need to keep moving. Something scrambled. They're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. I hope you die. Die, Chief Williams, die. You killed Rex. I don't want you on my damn team, and I can't kick you off. Let's... Chief Williams proves herself. I'm, I, I'm never using her again. If she can give me some reason to forgive her, that mm, doubt it. She's not even gonna be useful enough. I feel like she's kind of like a useless follower. She has decent combat power, but that's really it. There we go. Got him. Plot. Krogan. I'm sorry, Krogan warrior. She just leaned against the wall. Looks like she just fell asleep. Get up. I feel better now. Just like 
Took a nap. I, he wasn't dead. I thought he was dead. Alright, we need to move out. Die. If you survive this battle, I won't kick you off the team. That's how it's going to work. Let's go this way. First, let's explore this way. Oh, shit. Got him. This guy went invulnerable. Dead. Target him, kill him. Okay. Take all. That's all those over here? Wait, there's there more stuff this way. Now it's just another way up. Isn't it? Right? Yeah, because we went through here and he could have gone this way. Let's keep going the way they're going. Garrus, get up. And you're already dead again. Garrus, get back up. You're laying on your own arms. Dead. The captain died. She hasn't yet, though. There we go. Got him. Targeted. Fire again. Fire again. Fire again. Doubt he's dead. Nope. Of course not. Damn Krogan. She's dead, though. I can't bring either of the team members back yet. Pop out, pop out, come on. Got him. Alright, now I need you to just pop out of the cover. Come on, alright, get them both back up. Shot him in the back of the head, saving her. Alright, is there anything over here? Uh, storage locker. Let's get into that really quick. There we go. Take all. Uh, did I just get new armor? Grid combat scanner. Cinderia rounds. And combat scanner five. Switch to light armor. Proton rounds, sure, no. No, wait, what? Can I just give you incendiary rounds? There we go. That'll counteract it not being accurate anymore. Alright, that looks good to me. And I leveled up, shit. Um. Get myself some sniper rifle perks. 
And what else we got? Let's max out soldier. Charm. Okay. Now I think I have new. No, I don't have a new or enable thing. Enable a bowl. Uh, can I also auto level up? Auto level up. <coughs> Alright, just need to keep moving. Where's the bomb we're supposed to be carrying? It's supposed to be an entire ship's drive. How are we supposed to be able to carry that? We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. <laughs> I think that decision is gonna kill her and I That's why I made the decision. What the hell? It was a Solarian. Indoctrinated. Alright, we're gonna switch to this weapon. I didn't hear what you just said. Ah! <sighs> Of course it's not the time. Why am I always using this rifle? Hang on. Switch to that. Thank you. Assault rifle. Oh, that was good. Get up. Security office, maybe? Let's go this way to the security office. Sorry, Intel support or er, report. Okay, mm we got a clearing. Go! Made it. Codex. I'll read it later. Hello? Is someone out there? Wait, slaves? Shit, we need to free them. So some of their captured, are, I'm guessing, are now the indoctrinated. Here we go. down first. This is going down, right? Yeah, I think it is. Stasis console. The hell? Shit. Krogan Doctor. Where are the guards? Where is Seraph? No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Can I shoot you? I can, there we go. Like, can he important to the plot somehow? There we go. Guess fleet report. Just go too low. Can I order one of you to do this? Take all.
Alright, we need to go this way. Maybe? Let's just run this way. We need to clear the facility anyway. I was trying to find the slave pens or whatever we saw. Let's hear it. Who are you? What do you want? Granathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What are you talking I about? I this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. That sounds good. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. You enjoyed that. <laughs> Kinda right. All right. What now? All right. Let's see what we got. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. This thing? Oh. This one seems to be fully functional. Is it going to give us the missing pieces? I mean, if it gave us the missing pieces, it just means that the other one wasn't broken. It only had half the information to begin with. This is a place of evil. It needs to be destroyed. Uh, at some point. <laughs> this is not. Saren. What is that? Some kind of BI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Ah, shit. They not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? 
The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Do you build that? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Hmm? We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Why are you doing what that? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. Civilization has been eradicated and forgotten. We will endure. Um. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Ah, shit. Here comes Saren or something. Commander, we got trouble. What's wrong? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new. Ah, uh, shit. Well, if, it, if it's coming at us so fast, and it's way more maneuverable than any of our ships, we can't run it. What's the point of trying to outrun it? There we go. We need to get out of here before Sovereign gets here. I think she died. Good riddance. I can do the same thing as you, Krogan. You're not that much stronger than me anymore. My armor can overshield. There we go. Bye bye. I think we've almost made it to the breeding facility. This game's good, but I don't agree with any Commander Shepard's actions or morals most of the time. They're kind of vague. Also, in this world, apparently all AIs are like Skynet. I'm not so sure about that myself.
I think that's a bit old. Oh shit. Of a Oh, it's cloaked. A bit old of an opinion on artificial intelligence. Personally. Dead. <laughs> Apparently the only good Krogan is a dead one. Dead. Oh shit, I got hit by a rocket! <sighs> Critical mission failure. Alright. Oh, I've got me all the way back here. Are you kidding me? I can't even save. Good, you're dead. All right, we need to get moving. The guests are turning. Shepherd must be getting close. Janto, circle around. Keep them here. Keep them. Okay, so she's probably not dead yet, but hopefully soon. Over shields. At least that's what I think of it as. That's, that's kind of like a Halo term. What do they call it? Shield boost. Yeah, over shield. Got another one. Switch the sniper rifle. Peek out. fire. Kill him! They're both stuck. Well, at least they're now both dead, so I can get them back up and they'll be fixed. Alright, get back up, guys. Come on, we need to move. I wish I could open it from farther away so it would be open when I got there. I can open it from right when I uh, right when I got around the turn. Save. Yeah, I don't care. Save. Over it. Yep. Okay, there we go. Take all. Didn't kill it. And now my gun's stuck. It won't. It wouldn't. Uh, the charge wouldn't go back down. Dead Krogan warrior. Killed that thing too. Another one down. Got it. Try and get another one. Whew, that was close. It's a good thing those rockets travel at like 60 miles an hour and then I didn't dodge it. Kind of annoying how easily it can kill me. Take. Save. Save. Alright, there we go. Now, just need to keep moving. Did 
Killed him. Oh shit, that's... Uh, no. Equip. Take all, I don't really care. Grenades, we need to change this. Uh, fusion explosive. Let's see what that does. Got it. I'm gonna try a fusion grenade on these guys. Oh shit. Got that one? It's so close. Did I not change it also? Take all. Just try high explosive then. Then do what I wanted it to. Oh shit. That all of them? I think so. Alright. Switch weapons. All right, we're good. Oh shit. Ha! We've got the other one in our sights. Can't kill me really. All right, aid station. Thank you. There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges set. Another one down. Just keep moving. Just need to make the it through here. Everyone get low, now. What are you doing? I was hoping you would be dead by now. Apparently not. So he went that way. I need to go this way. But how do I go this way? What is that? Okay. It's just loading now. Oh, okay. That's what that was. Why did you need a shadow team? Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Uh, all right. So I am... I have very few choices. I guess we're gonna choose you two. Yep, let's go. They're the ones I always choose anyway. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. 
Gonna have a lot of Krogans in here. They're gonna be very determined. Dead. How are you not dead? Got him. Damn Krogan warrior. Killed him. Another one down. Another one down. Alright, we're good. Come in the elevator. No, you need to go this way. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Oh shit. Just the it's already here. There's geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What? What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. <sighs> Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye aye, Commander. Okay. I'm not mad at her anymore. She's dying like a good soldier. She's gonna die proud. And in my eyes, she's redeemed herself. Even though she disobeyed orders and killed Rex. I mean, maybe I would have done it, but unlikely. I really liked Rex. I would have let him breed Krogans. I don't care. Alright. Things don't seem that bad here. At least not yet. The destroyers, I think, are modeled after Krogan's. Ow, ow, ow. Heal. Overshield. Geth Prime. What the hell? Oh, ow. Okay, I got sniped mo uh, one too many times. I resume from last save. But at least Williams redeemed herself. Proud of her. All the way back here, huh? Okay. Maybe got a little carried away there. Alright, resume. X three killed one with one shot. Get up. Got 
Got him. Now there's one ghost remaining. Missed twice. Alright, let's get moving. Let's get out of here. So we can go tell Ash she, she's gonna die all over again. And she can make me forgive her again. Agreed. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I. You know it's the right choice, LT. Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, Williams regained my respect, and I forgive her. It's not so bad now that she's at least going to give her life for the mission. After disobeying orders and killing a teammate in cold blood and not even giving a shit about it. <laughs> Which kind of was like, no, nah, he had to die. I'm like, but I really liked him and I don't like you. It's like, you should not have made that choice. I was wrong. But you redeemed yourself. Got him. Got that one. Alright. Hit him. Another hit. Hit. Kill. Why don't you go up there? The other one of you, get over there. Lara, Lena, Lara, I don't know. Whatever your name is, get over there. You're drawing our, this fire for right now. It's your purpose. I didn't even really do anything, what the hell? Alright. Get up. Saren? It looks like Saren. Oh shit. He's part he's protected. My guess were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in a pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? 
Now you see why I never came forward with this to the council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, to the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurt it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove they are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Join me. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. And the only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I like Max I'm Charisma. How did he? Myself. Don't you see? Why even get the match? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Okay. Time to kill him. Oh, he's gonna be pretty easy to kill, isn't he? Easy enough. Kill it. All right. Now time to kill Saren. Saren, I tried getting you to join me, and I don't know why they gave me the option if even with pretty much max charisma it's going to fail. I don't see a point in giving me the option then. I guess maybe it's just another dialogue tree. Why is my gun still overheated? This game has so many glitches. I mean, they must have been in the original, because the game I don't think has been changed much.
him. Got him. Shit. Okay. What's happening? Saren? You're part machine. You're part... Whatever they are. I can't remember their names. Geth. Part Geth. Why are you always holding a pistol in cutscenes? Destroyed that facility. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped. At any cost. I lost too many people Why? on that planet. Why not her? It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. I agree to that. Soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. The images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard that name before. I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region Are you a fucking owl? accessible only through the Mew Relay. But the Mew Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. Are you saying it's hopeless? I am afraid so. Unless you somehow find the coordinates for the Mew Relay, then it would be possible to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. 
Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, Ascension Machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. <sighs> probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Alright, also I'm wondering if the Sovereign, or Sovereign, Saren's right about Sovereign though. What if the Keepers on the Citadel, like those little creatures fixing everything, and what if they were one of the few species that actually submitted? It's possible, isn't it? It makes sense. <sighs> okay. Novera. Exodus cluster. Where do we need to go next? Hang on. Let's look at the journal. Okay. Find the conduit. See, I already figured out. We should find a mass relay, a particular one, but still need to find one. Let's stop in here while we're at it. I think we need to go to Asgard. The side mission, hang on. Um, okay. Journal. Where is that? Oh, that's Soul. Shit. Um, where is Soul? Soul. Pharaohs. Sentry. This is important. I think we need to go to Nova, though. Hang on. Let's just first. I want to find Soul. I don't know. Um. Vera, it's a point of interest, so I guess we should go there. Alright, let's land.
Approach Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, arrival is not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> I like Joker. Alright, I guess it's time to leave the ship. I'm gonna talk to Joker. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. Uh, I kind of like all of them. I kind of don't like all of them at the same time. Uh, there is sure. no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Ah, sounds good. Alright, let's get out of here. You and you again. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. I wish I could close my visor. Officer is ashore. I can I close my visor? When it's a toxic atmosphere. It's not a toxic atmosphere right now. Or no atmosphere. This looks very familiar. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two. Come on, make, let me make the decision. Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. I wish I had gotten to kill you. That would have been all too much fun. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. 
Did you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Fine. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. We talked about her before. But things change when you're up against something. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. I hope so. I accept your word, Liara. Let's get going. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Alright, now we need to get in the elevator. Where is the elevator? Elevator. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Nah, if you have fuck questions off. or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Hmm. Can this one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. <laughs> is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Alright. Well, thank you. I think. And you talk kind of weird. Cause, I mean, thank you for giving me a job. Is this the administrator? No, this... Maybe. Yeah, this looks like the administrator's office. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be a fun conversation. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, 
That is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. <sighs> I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commando, you didn't think that odd. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions. I have no interest in Good. talking to you. I dozen urgent messages while you get it about. I'm going to shoot you in the head. Mr. Analeris isn't the only one with a pet. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeus. Talk to you later. Very well. Thank you. You're great. But... God, I'm a specter. Have more respect. I'm pretty much a... A soldier without bounds and... Completely backed by the largest quality in the galaxy. You really shouldn't be pushing and being such a dick like that. That could bring some serious hurt down on you. Half the people here are from Earth and he's complaining about people from Earth and refugees. Pain in my ass. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas for the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas. And a matriarch came through. I knew all that. Well, except for the synthetic parts. What was that about Synthetic Insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. So Analea shut down SI's offices, quietly, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave the station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Can I have to find the hotel bar? Or can I just shoot her? I'd be okay with that. Nope. Don't care if I shoot all that, though. Alright, whatever. We need to find the hotel bar.
Plaza. Elevator to hotel. Okay, we need to go to that elevator. Come on. Apparently this is where we need to go. You do? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your my real intentions strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before i represent the aramali city council on thessia our town is known for its biotic amp crafters what is your city's interest in binary helix they do not manufacture amps much of bh's work relates to biotics there are rumors that the novaria branch has flown in asari biotics powerful ones commandos to be specific we want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to see him soon. We'll talk to him after. Can we In here, then? Who the hell am I supposed to talk to? Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. 
He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Hmm. Here's my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. All right. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, Sound do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Sounds okay to me. Who is the guy I need to talk to? Raphael. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars G for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11 percent decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of the normal human hearing range. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects in Avaria, some not entirely. Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander. All right. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. <sighs> Wish I could have pushed for more. Sorry, ally. Alright, now we need to go back up. Head down into synthetic research or whatever. Alright. To synthetic research. This way. Doesn't really matter which way. Okay. Down and over. This won't take long. Just a little bit of combat. I think that's it. I mean, I bet we could beat the Reapers somehow, but I wonder if Saren is actually right. If we submitted, would we survive? Because I still think the Keepers are a previous race that submitted to the Reapers. Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. 
What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. All right. Let's go to equipment really quick. Shotguns. That's worse in every way, so we're just going to upgrade this. All right. Shotgun. Down. Oh. Those are... Ow. Grenades. All right. I think the office would be over here somewhere, wouldn't it? No, apparently not. Let's open this weapons locker. Take all. And we're gonna need the Turians to help us kill the Reapers whenever they come about. Hopefully we can stop them before uh, Sovereign can do anything, but I highly doubt that. Goodbye. Alright, what else we got in here? Alright, there we're good. What do we need to do in here? Where is it? There should be something around here that I need to do, right? Shit, I know. Uh, upgrade can take. Where is what I need? It should be right here. I'm like standing on top of it. Acutus office. It's in here. Did I not? I didn't do it, obviously. Not yet. Is there something I'm supposed to break? Watch your step here, Shepard. Technically, we're no longer in the room. That was close. Take. I think I need to kill everyone in here first. I think that's all I need to do. Just get this last guy. Come on. All right, let's head back. Hoping we can do it now. That we're not in the combat zone. Gotta be something I can do right here on the ground, on the wall. Uh, journal. Okay, so the computer?
Where is the computer if it's not this one? I save and main menu. Yes. We'll reload in and see if that does anything. Resume. Corporations here hire their own private security forces. It makes it easier for them to break the law. Oh, that didn't do anything other than glitch that. I can check the other room. It's obviously not in here, though. What the hell? This is the red office. Why can't I do anything? Will this trigger anything? I doubt it. Something in here. I'll head upstairs and come back down. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay, now I'm stuck in here. If I leave this area... To me. Come on, guys. Thank you. Can't even see it on the map anymore. Let's just load. It's not too long ago. Let's just load here. Wait, I didn't talk to him yet. Afternoon. Sit down. Have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Laura Keene? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a... I'm... Mr. The Administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he... By Ray. If you recover the evidence from my office... He's paying them under the table. Mr. If he... Oh, and... Alright, let's get out of here. Stains off the carpets, would you? We'll do that other mission in a little bit when we get back. Let me out. I want out. Thank you. Alright, let's get back into uh, wherever we were. I don't remember the name. Let's just go kill everyone in there as quickly as possible. Free 
please. Henshan security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Alright, hopefully this worked this time. Alright, don't go in the office, anybody. Just kill them all first, so then we can see if we can do the plot item after that. Can I see the plot item this time? No. Not on the map. Equipment. Shotgun. I never equipped anything with it. Back on. Alright, you're dead. You're about to die too. Alright, we got all of them? Alright, good. Journal. Break in and download these files. Is there something over here I'm missing? Like, this game is usually kind of obvious. It's like heavy handed with its clues. I don't understand what I'm missing. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's just a systems thing. Destroy it. Yeah, yeah, I know you told me that before. Um, Codex? Maybe? No. Personal history, I don't care. After the Geths secure a location, they round up an impaled dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. A reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Hmm. Thresher maws are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a thresher never entirely leaves the ground, only the head and tentacles erupt from the earth to attack. 
In addition to physical attacks, threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. The Alliance first encountered threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry threshers, and nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. That's what I did. Varan are omnivores with a preference for living prey. Originally native to the Krogan home world of Tuchanka, they are, like most life from Tuchanka, savage, clannish, and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. Their supreme adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. Virtually everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, wreaking havoc with the native ecology. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for millennia, alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them as treasured companions. To this day, Krogan raise them as beasts of war. One of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname, fish dogs. Huh. Pharos uh, is a habitable world in the Attic and Beta Cluster. Two-thirds of the habitable surface is covered with the ruins of a crumbling Prothean megatropolis. In the millennia since the Prothean extinction, the ruins have been repeatedly picked over by looters many times. Pharos was considered a poor prospect for colonization, as little open ground remains for agriculture. The only sizable freshwater sources are the poles, which are tapped by the decaying Prothean aqueduct systems. The dead cities, while in good condition considering their antiquity, are of uncertain stability. Ground level is congested by a dozen meters of fallen debris, and the air is fouled by dust. In 2178, the Human Exogeny Corporation announced its intention to place a permanent colony on Pharos to thoroughly explore the ruins. The pioneer settlement was placed on the upper levels of several intact skyscrapers, using the surviving Prothean aqueducts and rooftop hydroponic gardens to support the population. Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high-technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from council law. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. <sighs> There's no use to me. So where is his computer? Can I interact with anything else in this environment? That's glitching through the floor. If they couldn't find it, where would he hide it? It's supposed to be over here. Climb up here, please. Come on. To me. How do I jump? Options. Uh, keybinds.
So can't jump. Be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Where is his computer? Why can't I find it? If that's not it, I don't know what is. Seriously, I don't understand what I need to do. The weather outside looks dreadful. Thank the goddess it's warm in here. Eat this. That didn't do anything. I'm just going to save it here and quit. It's getting late. Save. Yep. Alright. Quit. Yep. Figure out who to raid. Mass Effect. Exit to launcher. Sure. All right, set up a raid. Raid channel. Alright, so tomorrow night I will be playing more Resident Evil and then we'll be back to Mass Effect. So, yay, Resident Evil. I'm really unhappy. I don't know. Like, I enjoy some parts of it and other parts I just hate. It terrifies me. Well, anyway, bye for now.